What's up everybody, Doug here with X-Step Cousin Laws and today we got a short video for you because we are starting the demolition project on the kitchen that you saw earlier in our kitchen soffit video. Well, before we start the demolition, we wanna make sure that we test for lead. So we are going to demonstrate for you today how we test for lead using the 3M Instant Lead Test. And this is always a good idea uh, if you're doing demolition or any type of construction at a home that was built pre-1979. Lead tests are pretty cheap, they're less than $10. It's always good, especially if you got kids in the house. Matter of fact, if you move into a new home, I would test. I always like to test myself. So you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store, they're less than 10 bucks. It's called the 3M Instant Lead Test. And uh, we're gonna do that for you today. So we're gonna start with putting a piece of plastic on the wall and taping it to the wall. This is to catch the paint chips that we are going to be scraping off. So I'm going to score the wall on an angle to expose. Well, it looks like there's only maybe two layers of paint here. So that's a good thing. So we're gonna take that and now we can dispose of this. Okay, so this is the swab we're gonna be using today. Uh, there's two points that we're supposed to crush, point A and point B, so we're gonna crush those and there's two different liquids in there that allows them to mix. So we're gonna crush those two points, shake it twice, and then we're gonna squeeze it till we get a little bit of liquid and then we're gonna rub it on there for 30 seconds. So it's crush, crush, shake twice. Should we get it on the paint, try to get it on that inner As you can see, we're still all orange. So that is um, an indication that there is no lead. If it turns red or pink, you'll need to take uh, lead safe measures during your demolition. All right, so this is the confirmation card to make sure that your lead check test works. They put a little bit of lead on this card so that you use that little test swab and you mark it and if it shows pink or red then it shows presence of lead so this is just to make sure that you didn't get a faulty kit all right well we hope that that helped you guys if you were remodeling a house or just bought a house or were thinking of doing some work or just curious in the lead testing process that's how you do it if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button it really helps out the channel if you got any questions uh, leave a comment in the section below and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos just like this one uh, go ahead and ring that notification bell so that you know when the videos are coming out. And uh, we do appreciate all the support, and we will see you on the next one.